What's up guys, this is Shukash Bunik from India and you are watching Gadgets Portal. Today I have with me a very interesting device. It is a full touchscreen phone from Nokia and the model number is as you can see Asha 311. From the picture over here on this packaging you can presume the most interesting thing on this device that it can handle a lot of games with a super fast 1 GHz processor. It's really kinda amazing that you are getting 1 GHz processor on this budget device with 3 inch screen and also 40 free EA games and you are also getting the Nokia music store with lakhs of free downloadable songs and also Wi-Fi which wasn't available on the Nokia Asha 305 which I have already reviewed. Here as you can see you are getting three color choices a dark grey, red and also white. You can also get blue or black versions in some other countries and you can see it has got 32 GB of external storage support and also talk time of 14 hours and also 29 days of standby. You are also getting 3.2 megapixel camera, 2 GB card pre-installed and also 3G connectivity on this device. I will obviously test the speed on this device and the screen size is 3 inches or 76.2 mm and the very amazing thing is that it has got a scratch resistant Gorilla Glass on the screen. The Nokia maps are actually preloaded on the SD card and as I've already mentioned before it has got a 1 GHz processor and also 40 free games. Though the pricing on this device is 7089, you can get it at around 63 or 6200 Indian rupees. Now let's get started with unboxing and let's check what are the things inside. Well the first thing you are getting is the device itself and the look of this device is quite impressive. It looks like a premium device and also feels quite nice in hands. Now from the instructions over here as you can see it has got only single sim support which is a pity I am a little bit disappointed with this. Now here in the battery you are getting a 3.7 volt battery and the milliamp power is 1110 which is kinda good or quite okay for a device of this size. Here is the Nokia's charging adapter and it is retractable as you know and I really like this style it is also 2mm as you know. Next thing you are getting is the Nokia's own headsets. It is not in-ear type as you can see though doesn't feel that much cheap it is quite good and you are getting this push button type call start or call end key and here is the 3.5mm jack which is not gold plated. One thing I really want to mention here that you can't use headsets of other companies like Samsung or Sony though you can use them as headphones. Now here are some booklets. It is for Nokia Life and here is the user guide of this Nokia Asha 311. It's all in blue. So that's all in this unboxing. Now let's get rid of these things here and let's have a closer look at the hardware of this Nokia Asha 311. Now under the back cover you are getting the SIM card slot as well as the micro SD card slot which is already loaded with a 2GB card. Here is it, here is the device I've been talking about and the front look, the feel of this device in hands is excellent. I am just liking the peach black front look of this device and also the silver bezel and also the grey matte finish in the bottom as you can see. In the back side it is quite glossy and very very much fingerprint magnet. Now let's quickly browse the exterior of this device. Here is the earpiece as you can see and there are some proximity and ambient light sensors on this device because it has got a capacity screen. Here are some hardware buttons, there is a LED indicator and here is the microphone hole. The silver bezel and the matte finish over here looks quite elegant on this device. In the left you are getting the volume rocker and here is the lock unlock key. In the back you are getting the 3.2 megapixel camera and also the Nokia logo and the model number that is Nokia Asha 311. 
In the left, you are getting nothing but the hole for attaching your lanyard or charm. In the bottom, you are also getting nothing and in the top, you are getting the micro USB port and also the 3.5mm headphone port and here is the charging hole. So overall, the design of this device is quite user friendly and the grip of this phone, the size is quite nice and it is a very small device and the weight of this device is 95 gram which is quite good for a mobile of this size. Well the battery is running low but let's still turn on the device and let's see what is the software inside. Here is the default screen you are getting when you turn on the device and the icons here as you can see look like Mego. You are getting three screens when you scroll horizontally and the response of this screen is absolutely good. It has got capacity screen and also one gigahertz processor so the response is excellent. Now here is a closer look of the LCD. It has got a WQVG resolution that is 240 by 480 on this 3 inch screen and the PPI is 155 which is quite good for an entry level device but as you can see the black level on this phone is very very good. The contrast level of this LCD is excellent. Here is the dialer as you can see and because of its capacitive screen typing on this device is not a problem though it has got a very small 3 inch screen. Now here this screen should be your home screen where you can add shortcuts of your favorite applications and you are also getting android style notification panel here. You are also getting the music, contacts and also the messaging applications. Here are the data connectivity, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and also the profile shortcuts. I will test all these stuffs and tell you how good, how user friendly are they. Now here on the home screen if you tap and hold you are getting the customization option on the home screen you can move your added shortcuts you can also delete them and also add shortcuts from this long list Nokia is providing which is quite handy and you can also edit your applications here just by tap and holding next you are getting the option for customizing your third screen where you can set radio or music as well I'm quite familiar with this user interface because it's very similar with the Nokia 305. Here clicking on the timing information you can set alarm. So as you can see the UI is very very user friendly. You are also getting bunch of applications here and most of them are common with Nokia Shot 305. I've shown a lot of them though you are getting Angry Birds on board which is quite nice. The operating system on this mobile phone is series 40 so it is identical to the Nokia 305 or 306 which are quite cheaper than this model. The LCD size, resolution and also the quality of the LCD is also identical to them. So why should you buy this mobile phone? Well on a 3 inches raised to touch screen it is sometimes quite difficult to type and also to click on small links on the browser which is not that much problematic on a capacitive touch screen. Another thing is that the hardware, the specification of this phone is excellent. It has got a super fast 1GB processor and also 3G connectivity, Wi-Fi, a Gorilla Glass and the screen is though 65K. It looks quite amazing with very high contrast. The internal memory is also very good, 140MB. Now as you know I always try to give you most useful and logical reviews on the gadgets so do subscribe to Gadgets Portal to get updated about my next review where I will show you the whole user interface and also the gaming, music, browser and also all the other stuffs on this mobile phone and also share with you my final verdict. You can also visit my Facebook page facebook.com slash gadgets portal to get updates on this mobile phone and also get buying helps. So guys see you in the next video, I am waiting to see you in my subscribers list. Thanks for watching, bye bye.